Hey, this is Russell with AutoPay Plus. We're here at the store. We're going to talk about production clear coats. We have three of them in our line that are fantastic clear coats. Our QC210 is a one hour, two coat clear, uh, ready to polish in one hour, high solids, great system, easy to spray. Uh, our 7500 clear is really a unique product. It's a one coat clear, basically what we call a tack and hammer coat. So you put on a light coat, don't even let it flash, just tack it down and then come back and apply a full wet coat on top of that. One coat, you're in and out of the booth in five minutes, uh, throw a 20 minute bake on it, and you're ready to roll. That is a really cool clear coat or it'll dry at uh, room temperature in about three to four hours ready to buff. But the one I wanted to talk about mainly today is a brand new clear coat that we have out. This is the 7021 Gen Verde cl clear coat. It is a one coat, five minute bake. This is something that I've never seen before, something that's just been released on the market here recently. And so we are going to go up to Nelson's Auto Body and we're gonna let Travis, their painter, spray this and we're gonna watch how it's applied, how it works, what his response is. Uh, this is a neat product. The Gen Verde line is really cool anyway. One thing I want to say about it is for the guys that are using water right now that aren't really happy with water, or guys that are just familiar with solvent and like solvent, this is a really cool line. It comes with a base coat system as well, and all the low VOC solvents are equal to water. So if you don't want to go to the water direction, this is the way to go. But this clear coat is a lifetime warranty clear that goes with it. Again, a very unique product, and we're going to go up to Nelson's to take a look and see how it works. Hey, this is Russell. I'm here with Travis, Travis Silvera <laughs> here at Nelson's Auto Body. We're going to be testing the new one coat, five minute bake clear coat from General Paint. And he's been nice enough to be able to let us go through this demonstration. We're going to shoot a little bit of waterborne base and then we're going to put that clear coat on and see how it goes. Yep. All right. To explain the clear coat a little bit, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, 77.3% solids clear coat, super high solids, double what the normal solids rating is on most clear coats. And we're gonna apply what's, what they say is a half coat, full coat, with no flash time in between. If you're doing a large vehicle, you can get around it with your half coat first, then come back immediately and nail it with a full wet coat and you're done. Get out of the booth, flip the switch, run it up to 140 degrees for five minutes, let it cool down, it's ready for polish and assembly, ready to go. This stuff is phenomenal. I don't know what it is, they said it's not a urethane clear, they won't tell us what the chemistry is, so we're okay with that. We're gonna let Travis do the spraying, and we're gonna see how this lays out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little experiment 
because some of the high speed clear coats tend to dry a little quickly, so if you have to go back out, mix a little clear coat, come back in, they don't want to burn in on the edge. You'll get kind of a dry edge right there and you end up have to paint the whole panel again. So we're going to do a little test here to see how this melts in in case we did run into that scenario where we ran out of clear coat, had to go back in and mix another batch. So we're going to we're going to burn in halfway up through the dog leg on this fender and see if it melts in or if it's going to leave us a dry edge. Travis did the spray in, did an excellent job. Clear coat lays out nice. What do you think? I, I think it laid out really nice. Our burning looks perfect. It didn't it didn't melt it in nice for us. Didn't give us any issues on dry spray or anything like that. So sprayability is good. Uh, gloss retention looks great. We baked it the crap out of it after basically no flash time and no solvent pop, which is really nice. We baked it. We cooled it down. It does make a difference when it cools down. It burns up quite a bit. We may have put it on a little bit on the heavy side. So um, anyway, we're going to check it tomorrow and see how firm it is and ready to go. And I'm going to do a little buffing on it too and see how that works. So anyway, thank you again, Travis, for helping us out here. No problem. Appreciate working. Travis is awesome because he'll let us do anything. We come in here. <laughs> He's always a guinea pig for us. He has no problem with trying new stuff. And that is awesome. I love guys that are not afraid to try something new. So again, appreciate you, Travis. Be an open-minded. That's right. <laughs> open-minded. How are you going to learn new stuff if you don't try something right. new, right? Hey, thanks again. Yeah, no problem. All right, have a good one. Yeah, you too. See you. Hey, we're back here at Nelson's Auto Body. We're going to take and test some polishing on this uh, one coat clear coat and uh, want to see how it buffs. So we've got some 1500 DA, or sorry, 1500 wet dry. We do a light sand on just a small spot, hit it with a 3M foam pad and some compound and see how it polishes out. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that this stuff polishes really well. I figured it's been setting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, almost four days, and I figured it'd be hard as a rock by now. And to be honest with you, we're 1500 grit wet sand, and again, just a foam pad, foam cutting pad, and not a gritty compound. I'm assuming this is probably 3M's number one cut, and it's buffing up really quick and a nice shine. So I'm gonna finish up this spot and wipe it down and take a look at it.
polish or anything like that. That's just a heavy cut. And that turned out really, really nice. Very impressed. Now, I could go a little bit harder here, but said for the time that we've spent on it and uh, a light cut, a low speed, um, um, stuff works good. So, thumbs up. Hey, thanks for watching our video today. We've got a lot more on the way. We've got tips, tricks, training information. Be sure to like and subscribe. Come on down to the store, see what we have, and we'll see you soon.